This video is going to give a brief overview of the umbilical vessels, uh, including their functions and their locations. So let's get started. Now, when we're talking about umbilical vessels, uh, we're talking about two main types. And the first one uh, is known as the umbilical vein. And the second one is known as the umbilical arteries. So the main function of both of these vessels, both of the veins and the arteries, is to transport blood. But there is a difference between them. So uh, one added function is that they're either going to transport nutrients or they're going to transport waste. So depending on if you're a vein or an artery, you're going to do one or the other, and we're going to discuss which. Uh, the location of both the umbilical vessels is in the umbilical cord. And so you know we have one umbilical vein and we have two umbilical arteries. So let's give uh, a brief summary of each one. So we're going to start off with our umbilical vein right here umbilical vein. So the umbilical vein is going to transport blood uh, from the placenta and it's going to transport that blood from the placenta to the fetus. So just to recap, it's we're starting with our placenta and that blood is going to go in the direction of the fetus. And like we said, we only have one vein, or the fetus only has one umbilical vein. And I just mentioned that uh, one of the vessels is going to carry nutrients and the other one is going to carry um, waste. So think about it this way. If we're transporting blood from the placenta to the fetus, what exactly do we want to be delivered there? Do we want to deliver nutrients to the fetus to help nourish it? Or do we want to uh, transport waste to the fetus? Now, it's sort of logical, right? Of course we want to send nutrients to the waste because uh, we're sending these nutrients from the placenta to the fetus so that, you know, the fetus could uh, continue to be healthy and grow normally and have normal development. So we will also get the transport of nutrients which makes sense if you just think about it. So, like we mentioned before, our next umbilical vessel is the umbilical arteries. And so the umbilical arteries are going to carry deoxygenated blood from the fetus to the placenta. So, Try not to get it confused because it's something that people sometimes mess up on. Uh, the blood that the umbilical arteries are carrying is deoxygenated. I'll just abbreviate it there. So this is the blood that contains the waste from the fetus. So after that blood uh, has already been delivered to the fetus via the umbilical veins, it's going to return to the placenta via the umbilical arteries, right? So we had to do that, the deoxygenated blood, it's going to flow from the fetus to the placenta. And like a little trick to maybe help you remember that is like think of the root word, think of uh, art and arteries. And you know art, I don't know, think about it being old. And so like when R is old, like sometimes maybe you want to clean it up or it needs to go in for a dusting or something. So like a refresh. So the umbilical arteries, you're going to be taking the old blood or, you know, the blood that contains the waste product that's deoxygenated. And you're going to send it to the placenta so that it could be refreshed. So at the placenta, that's where it'll become. You could think about it as that's where it's becoming refreshed. So... Like small trick, maybe it'll help you figure it out. Uh, just think of it as art. And also recall that we have 
two arteries. Don't forget that, whereas we only have the one vein. Uh, I hope that you found the video helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching.